Hello and welcome back. Uh, I guess. <laughs> it's a vlog, so what do you really expect out of it, right? I'm checking in with you. <laughs> um, I've been away from streaming for a little bit, and part of me doesn't miss it. Uh, part of me does. Part of me misses the, the live interaction, the creation of content and stuff in that regard. But it's a huge time commitment. Um, and it's a lot of stress <laughs> um, to, to put out content like that for a very, very small audience, which is fine. It's, it's fine. I do enjoy streaming, but I don't know that I'm going to go back to it soon. Um, and I've been enjoying making videos and things like that just as regular content. Um, I guess... I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit burnt out from the streaming. Uh, because if you know anything about my channel, you'll know that I'm not new to this. I've been doing this for a while. Uh, maybe not specifically uh, VOD content, video on demand content, but I've been making content for quite a while now. Uh, I think I'm going on six years, five or six years, something like that. Uh, and I've been in video production stuff for a lot longer than that. This video is more of a... I don't know. I kind of just wanted to get some thoughts out there. Um, something to, to throw out there. I'm enjoying creating. And the whole reason I started the YouTube channel... Hold on. My arms were getting caught up on the arms of my chair. Um, the whole reason I, I started this channel was because I wanted to create content. And video content, or video game content, was super simple, super easy to put out as far as accessibility. I was really able to go onto Steam and just load up a game and, and start playing it without without having a whole lot of setup or a whole lot of investment of time. But I wouldn't say that video game content is all I want to put out. Um, so this video right here is me telling you that I love creating. I love making things. And there's constantly going to be switch ups and change ups to the content to the style to the feel to the editing at some point I'm sure um, but even when I was streaming I was doing things way ahead of when I sh probably should have and I think it probably sends the wrong message I think it probably tells people that it's about money or it's about like fame or whatever and it's not I, I want a community and that'd be great but um, I had, for instance I made merch it's not a merch announcement video. You'll notice that I don't really put my merch link anywhere on my videos. And it's because I'm not necessarily looking for people to buy it. I made merch because I wanted to. Because I had fun designing it and coming up with ideas for it. And it's, it's Teespring. It's not the best quality out there. But it's it's fine. Um, but I, uh, I wanted to start creating things. I've had this deep-seated desire to create ever since I was a kid. And that involved writing books from a young age. That comes from a homesteading background. That comes from uh, being a little farm boy, learning how to raise crops and animals and, and learn how things work and mechanisms and building systems and things like that. And it, it was from that young age that I had this insatiable urge to create. I often said to myself, I'm bored. I just want to make something. Legos were huge for a lot of kids, but they, they were huge for me specifically because there were endless possibilities. If I wanted to make something, I could. It's why I got into software development, because if I want to make something, I can. It's why I do the things like making merch or changing up the graphics or the music or the, the editing style or whatever. is because I just love making content. I love making things. And I'm going to say that so many times because that's, that's the theme of this entire video is making creation creating this is this is my realm where i want to be and i'm not good i'm not great by any stretch but i'm not i'm not even good i'm i'm okay i'm decent and i know that and that's fine but i want to put out more the stories that i used to write as a kid were really bad. I mean, let's be honest. You're a kid, you don't know the English language all that well, so you you, uh, you want to make something, you decide to write a book, you, you write you write what you can. But it started this this desire to continue to write and to build things. And that's what got me into games like D&D &D or Pathfinder or what have you. And I'm not I'm still new to Pathfinder. I'm still learning that one. But the idea is that I wanted to share experiences through my creation, 
It's why I have a 3D printer over here. It's why for Christmas this year, I asked for a sander and uh, a shop vac so that I could make a clean workspace in my shop upstairs and like shape wood and metal and stuff like that. So I, I actually got a belt sander and a shop vac and I'm stoked about it. Um, but I want to, I want to make, I want to create, I want to build and I want to share. I want to share it. It's, I, I, it's why I made a couple of stream videos of me working in World Anvil. And I realized that that content is not overly interesting or exciting to watch, but it's exciting to make. Why? Because I still haven't addressed that air freshener. <laughs> uh, it's fun to just spill it all out. I want to do more of that. So what got me into D&D &D specifically was the endless possibility and the complexity. I used to watch my sister play games with her high school friends and friends of friends. Um, and longtime viewer of the channel, uh, Jocelyn, or the Geek Corner here, uh, is a DM and was DMing those uh, campaigns for my sister and her friends uh, continually at our house and, and elsewhere and stuff like that. But it got me really interested in what D&D was. All I'd ever heard was the propaganda about it being demonic or cultish or whatever. And when I started reading up on it, learning about it, I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. This is choose your own adventure, but bigger, but better because now it's a collaboration. It's not, it's not just me telling you what's going to happen and you flip to the right page. It's me saying, this is what the world's doing. And now you're saying, well, I want to do this and we're going to check to see if the world will let me. <laughs> and it's, it's just so dang cool. It's so much fun. So I started writing stories and I want to go over I don't think I'm going to do it in this video, but I want to go over how I started writing picturesque descriptions. Because I, I don't do dialogue all that well, but I can describe, and I can build out a visual of a scene fairly decently, I think. And that's what I want to do. So I think I'm going to switch up some of my content. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep playing Yakuza Like a Dragon for the channel. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue to play other games for the channel for a while. Um, I'm going to finish out for sure Inscription uh, because I, I love that game and I, I need to get back into it. But I don't know how much more I'm going to do for the other games at the moment. Because I think I want to make other content. And I'm kind of excited about that. I'm kind of really excited about that. So I might play an odd video game here and there. Uh, I might put out a couple of episodes of X, Y, or Z here and there. Uh, but for now, uh, I, I want to I wanna tangent. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Also, if you're looking for other ways to support me, you can obviously hit the bell. Hit the subscribe button, obviously. Uh, you need to do that in order to hit the bell. Uh, but then you can also hit me up on Instagram. It's also uh, Articulus TV. Uh, or I guess it's Articulus TV, because YouTube here is Articulus. Uh, but I'm also on TikTok. I don't have a whole lot of content on TikTok, but I think I'm going to start doing some like really quick whiskey reviews on TikTok. Uh, I've got two of them out there right now. Check them out if you're interested. Uh, and I think that's where I'm going to kind of relegate the whiskey review stuff, and I'm going to keep my YouTube stuff a little bit more, uh, more focused on the creation of things. Uh, and I actually might even talk a quick episode or talk through a quick episode on what I know about whiskey and, and some of the, the origins or some of the basis of how to make whiskey. But anyway, thanks for... I hate when I do that. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, I will have links in the description below for my TikTok and my Instagram. I'll also throw my Teespring or my Spring account if you're interested in merch. Uh, don't feel like you have to buy it in order to support me because I, I didn't make it for that. I made it for me, um, but it's there. And then uh, I'll throw a link to my Steam library probably down there as well in case you do want to see more games out of me. So thanks again. And until next time, have a good one.